Hi guys, Gray Buck here, Major League Fishing Pro, and today I want to show you a little bit of a difference. Um, there's two mapping cards that I like to use, and so they're both good. Um, depends on the situation and where you're at when you want to use one versus the other. Um, but I use the C maps um, made by Lawrence, and I also use the Navionics. Um, the Navionics is the Navionics Plus, which is one that you can upload individual lakes to get all the detailed topographic maps from. And I do that depending on each lake that I go for the year in the spring or winter, whenever I know the schedule, I'll actually go and you do it through your computer. You plug it in, you kind of box out the section you want for each lake and you download it to your SD card and then you have each one. So when you get there, it'll have um, just the general topographic lines. It has a community edits button that shows like more detailed things that uh, locals may have found. And then I also have the C maps, which is awesome because it's got some different color shadings and all that that you can do. So I'm gonna kind of go back and forth and we're gonna compare and contrast. Um, we're gonna do this down on Lake Chickamauga. Um, it's a ledge lake, got a lot of different topo lines. So you'll really be able to tell the difference and you can come up with uh, yourself, your opinion on which you think is better. So let's start with the C maps. Um, you can see here, we're down towards um, Harrison Bay. There's the island down there. Um, we're gonna go, let's go sh just right above it. You can see how this is set up. We'll go to menu, uh, what is it? More options, chart options, shaded relief. Um, so that can change your shading, depending on how you want it. Depth palette, no, oh, that's not the one, I'm sorry, shading. So you could customize this, you can go depth one. So I go custom. And you can change all these numbers, zero to five. So zero is, um, sorry, uh, red there. Then you can see orange is five foot, out to 10 foot is yellow, 20 is green. So you can really dial this in depending on which lake you're on and which um, depth you wanna fish. And after you get that all set up, it'll show it to you. So you can see out that deep water here, you can see you got some shallow water is red, uh, get a little deeper, you can see the points there. What I like about that is they're so different in contrast, you can see really get a good idea of like where each of these set up. It goes out to the creek channels, which is kind of cool. This one actually shows the creek channel on it as well. And you get to see all those different areas that you need to look at. Um, you can zoom out real quick and be like, oh, there's a flats back here. You go, there's probably fish spawn in there. You can see, how these fish kind of go in, work their way through these, following the contour lines. Um, you can see it shows little rocks that are in there. It got it has a lot of different um, neat tools. There's one that shows the boat access, which is a boat ramp. Uh, it's got a little uh, fishing ground one. Let's see. Oh, it even gives you some details on it. If you click on that, you can really uh, go into some areas. It gives you the exact coordinates of it. So. Um, if you're new to the lake, it's a good way to get um, accustomed to what you're looking at. And it's just as easy as that. You can see um, it's got the marker buoys on there. Uh, you can see there's one of the channels. And when you adjust all those colors, it'll um, really make everything else pop. So that's the sea maps. Now we're gonna look, let's go back down. We're gonna get to that island so we can compare it. We're gonna go down to the island here and you can see there's a little less um, color variance. So I'll show you how I set that up. You go to menu, again, more options, chart options, and fishing range is how I always set this up. So if you know your fish that week are in, say, let's go with the summer, say they're in out to 20, let's say 24 foot, and you know they're 10 to 24. We got set for 11. So you just adjust that by sliding. And then all of a sudden you got just white areas that all show that 11 to 24. So that's a really good advantage of having that Navionics is when you're fishing here, or it could even be a flat up a Champlain or wherever you're at, it shows you exactly how it all sets up. Um, but in comparison to how the ditches are and the drains and all that, you look here and you can see that it's there but when you look over here, it's really well defined being that uh, very vastly different colors. So that's one advantage I think of the C maps, but it doesn't also show you the exact um, areas that you like to fish as much. 
The other thing you can do is go to menu, more options, chart options, and I like to shallow water. So if you know there's a chance of hitting rocks or whatever, say I turn that to five foot. And what that does is you can see back here where those red dots are, that's shallow water. So if you don't want to run in five foot, three foot, whatever that number is, you put that out there so that when you come out to something on the main lake, it gives you a little bit of a warning, like right there. You got some humps out there and it protects you from running over those. And the same thing happens up here. Um, it'll show it just in red or orange, depending on what color it is um, in the area. So if it's super shallow out to that five foot, it would be red. Um, so it's a similar way to look at it, but it's just um, a different way. Here you can go. Um, that somebody put some info in. Uh, they didn't actually put a wave. Let's see if there's one here. That one's called Graveyard Point. So there's not quite as much detail on a lot of these um, spots how there was in the uh, C maps. When you click on it, it doesn't give you uh, all that information. But it's equally as an important tool. Um, I like running both. I kind of, all these units are linked so I can swap from map to map and it helps just kind of dial them in a little bit. Um, let's see what else there is. Uh, both of them you can measure. Uh, you go to there, reset cursor. You can drag it out, see how far something is. If you're w looking to make a run, be like, oh, that's, uh, let's see, what is that? 1.63 miles. So you can do that on either one of the units. Um, that's nice and easy. Uh, what else do we got? We got, there's like go-to features. Uh, most of this is under probably chart options. Um, there's safety depth, sonar chart, all these um, different sort of things. You can turn those chides off if you're not around that. So it gives you a lot of options to really get them to the point where you can figure out what you want. So um, you can see there's a little bit less of that options on the C map, but it all depends on your preference. Um, like I said, I like to run both of them. Uh, ledge lakes, I really like using the C maps where there's a lot of contour depth changes. The C maps are getting better and better throughout the country as well. Um, originally when they came out, they didn't have as many options. Navionics is basically everywhere. Um, both of them still, you'll go to some areas, you'll idle a point or you'll idle a rock pile or a hump, and sometimes it's not there. Um, when that happens, I just put a waypoint there, kind of mark it so you know, and um, that way you don't come back to it. But um, if you have any questions about this, you can put them in the comments below. Um, Instagram on Greybuck Fishing or Facebook, both of those I can get back to you. If you're interested in any classes, um, I do two-hour electronics classes or longer if you want it. Um, my boat, your boat, we go over how to set them up, how to interpret what's on the bottom and everything like that. Um, DM me, I can get you some pricing info. I travel all over the country, so... There's a good chance throughout the year at some point I'll be in your area. Otherwise, I do them here in Pennsylvania when I'm home pretty regularly. So if you have um, a desire to get out on the water, let me know. If you like what you saw here, uh, make sure you subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks for watching and have a